There is a lot more to Porsche than cars. And the Porsche Design Studio has existed for more than 50 years now. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing three of the latest optical models created by Porsche Design, as well as three of the latest sunglasses from the company, and explaining all the little technicalities and unique differences that characterize Porsche Design eyewear. So hi, I'm Robert, Style and Vision Consultant here at the Spectacle Factory, and it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And if you appreciate really good technical design, if you appreciate quality materials, Porsche Design might be for you. Now, before I start, a little overview of Porsche Design, because so many people think that Porsche is the same as Porsche Design, but they're actually separate entities altogether. The Porsche Design Studio was set up by Ferdinand Porsche, and it was created from the idea that Porsche, the car company, had some of the world's very best engineers. And Ferdinand Porsche realized that these people were not just good at designing cars. Why not try to design other everyday products that can benefit lots of different people in lots of different ways? So he took some of his top engineers and created with them the Porsche Design Studio, where they redesigned many everyday products from umbrellas to watches to eyewear. Porsche Design look at everyday objects and try to reinvent them and improve upon them taking inspiration from car design. And that's exactly what they've done with these new releases. So I'm very excited to showcase them for you. Let's get into it. Now, I have been a little bit of a critic in the past of Porsche design because they have been a little bit safe, somewhat overly masculine and a little bit old fashioned previously. And one of the reasons why I really wanted to showcase them now is because I think they've really turned that around. And I think Porsche as a brand, whether it's the cars or the glasses, has started to appeal to a younger audience probably in the last five to 10 years. And that is definitely true with the eyewear as well. Having said that, the first pair that I'm going to show you, which is the 8753, is a relatively safe option. And I'm intentionally starting with this frame because it is kind of a good entry into Porsche design because it's super simple. This frame here is crafted from steel, very high quality steel in keeping with Porsche design. You know, they don't make cheap quality products. We all know that. Finished with carbon fiber on the outer side of the temple and a rubberized material on the inside of the temple. That gives these frames really nice and comfortable and soft grip. The frames are not weightless, but they are lightweight and they are very comfortable to wear. They feel really well poised and really balanced on the face. But of course, stylistically, this is pretty safe fairly conventional, it's a fairly ordinary rectangular shape. But with all of that in mind, some people don't want fancy glasses. Some people just want elegant, subtle frames which are functional first and foremost. And a lot of the Porsche design philosophy is about function. Ferdinand Porsche was a great believer that form follows function. And that is definitely true with these frames. Getting a bit more exciting. And I love this very technical, very German take on the classic Clubmaster style. In this frame, definitely more so than the first one, we see that increased accentuation along the top rim. It's finished in a brown plastic material, and I say plastic, which makes it sound cheap. It is actually an ultra lightweight plastic, which is proprietary to Porsche design. You see this in a lot of their frames. It's ultra lightweight, but it's resilient, durable. You do have to be careful cleaning it. That's one thing that I've learned over the years that Interacting with the wrong chemicals can permanently damage it, but assuming that you clean with normal process, they're absolutely fine. Stylistically, this takes it up a notch, takes it up a level and really modernizes Porsche design eyewear, in my opinion, particularly with the way that the metal is fused inside that plastic housing on the lugs. In gold, it might be a little bit brave for some people, but I think it's very wearable as a gold frame, primarily because of the matte finish and the fact that it's not overly chunky. It's quite a thin piece of gold. The bladed temples are finished with almost straight temple tips, and I love the way that that blade cuts through the front of the frame, as I mentioned. We also see another trademark of Porsche design, which is their own proprietary screws. So when you're a Porsche design optician, as we are, you actually get a screwdriver set, which is designed to tighten up the temples when necessary. Because they are hexagonal locking nuts, they're actually a lot easier for us to tighten without damaging the screwdriver or the screw head. So I actually really appreciate that aspect of Porsche design. Now, I also have a sunglass version of those frames to show you, and I really think these are going to blow you away because this is 100% a sunglass that I would wear. I think 
Strip away the Porsche Design logo, this is a cool pair of sunglasses. But Porsche Design as a brand, it's one of those that, I think when you first learn about it, you just associate it with the cars. You might not think it's that cool. I definitely didn't at first. But as you learn more about the heritage of Porsche Design, some of their iconic watches, for example, they were the first brand to really popularize an all black watch with I think a red second hand to make it really contrast against the design of the watch. They have actually played a huge part in general design over the years. And I see these as very cool. On this model, as a sunglass, they've actually made the bottom rim a glossy gold. However, the temple gold is more of a satin finish. It's not quite as glossy. There's a lot of attention to detail and nice finishing on this frame, which makes it a really, really nice sunglass. And it's super comfortable to wear. As mentioned, they feel relatively lightweight, but you're definitely aware that you are wearing them. Some people will love that because some people like that feeling of security and solidity. And some people would prefer something completely weightless. There are better brands in that regard if that's what you're looking for. But Porsche design just feel very functional, very technical and very well made. The last pair that I have to showcase to you today is probably my favorite stylistically. It's such an unusual combination because what they've done contrary to the other two styles is have the accentuation in the bottom half of the frame. Love it or hate it, it's definitely different. And it shows that Porsche design do sometimes push the boundaries. It's a cool frame. The double brow bar is very European. It's a style element that I enjoy. Not everyone loves, but most people, when they kind of get used to wearing it, they start to really, really like it. This is in all black, although there are other colorways as well. It's very simplistic, which is in keeping with the Porsche design philosophy, but it's cool. And it definitely does make a statement at the same time. Speaking of making a statement, one of the very best Porsche design sunglasses, in my opinion, is this oversized aviator. It's pretty big, but actually it's surprisingly wearable despite its size. I'm going to show you a sunglass in a moment, which is roughly the same size as this, or maybe slightly larger, but looks completely different in the proportions. I think this is quite wearable, especially as a pair of driving sunglasses, because you really get a huge field of view. There's no point on this frame that I can look through where I'm actually seeing the edge of the glasses, which for driving means really good peripheral vision. But with this model, it's all about the exposed screws on the front. This is a hallmark of the Porsche GT steering wheel. It just feels amazing to hold and even to look at. So drawing inspiration from that and integrating it into the sunglasses is a really nice touch in my opinion. And irrespective of how it looks in the cars, I think it looks really cool in the sunglasses. These again have that ultra lightweight plastic material in this model because it's got that pure material on the temples. They're very, very flexible. And despite the size, they're actually very lightweight because the front is titanium. And to finish off the video, I've got something very special for you. I told you at the start of the video that it's 50 years since the Porsche Design Studio was established. That was actually last year. So the Porsche Design Studio was established in 1972. And for that reason, they have produced a limited run of 1,972 pieces, one of which I have to show you today. So you may remember that I mentioned that Porsche Design throughout the years have created some iconic products. I mentioned the all black wristwatch. Probably the most iconic design that Porsche Design ever produced is the absolutely legendary 8478 sunglass. One of the most, literally the most popular sunglasses ever produced. Why is that? Well, Ferdinand Porsche liked to wear different colored lenses, but he got fed up having to go to the optician to have the optician switch out different colors within his glasses. So he created a system whereby the lenses are actually removable by you and easily interchanged with a different lens color. So these are the legendary 8478, but brought back for the 50th anniversary of Porsche design. And as then, these are produced in titanium, ultra lightweight. Yes, they are massive and they have their own look. They have their own character, which love it or hate it, it is iconic. It is at least original, if nothing else. It's a super oversized aviator that's been worn by everyone from Michael Jackson to Kim Kardashian, and trust me, many people in between. And here's how the mechanism works. Simply flips up here, very simple, and that allows the lenses to be removed really, really easily. Now within the presentation box, which is beautiful by the way, I mean, how cool is that? Within that presentation box, you would have the glasses case, and inside that glasses case, there's actually a secret compartment. It's pretty much invisible unless you know to look for it. And inside there, you can keep an extra set of lenses. 
With the set, you actually get a G15 lens, which has more contrast and some people prefer it. I would have liked to see more interesting and unique colors, but you can actually order them from Porsche separately. So you can have a full kit of these lenses if you want to. So adding the lenses back in is super simple. You literally just position them like so, flip that down, and you have then a different lens color. It's just a shame that these two lens colors are so similar to each other, but you can have two completely different options and interchange between them to your heart's content. But it's a cool sunglass and it's a piece of history at the end of the day, especially as this collector's item, knowing that you've got one of fewer than 2,000 pieces in the world. You even get a special, this is quite cute, a special checkered flag cleaning cloth, which is inside the case. And just to finish it off, a nice touch, which they really didn't need to do, you have this Porsche design necklace or bracelet. I think it could be worn either way. So you can either like wrap it around your wrist a couple of times, two or three times, and won't do it for you now. Or you can wear it as a necklace. It's a nice little extra touch. Um, not a huge deal. I think it's all about the sunglasses, but it's always definitely nice to get a little bonus in the box. What do you think of Porsche design? And more importantly, which of these styles do you like best? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe to the channel for more of the best eyewear content on the internet. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.